Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to tell you about iPhone privacy settings to turn off now. Before we dive into the actual settings to turn off, I want to explain why we're turning them off. Uh, the main practical reason is battery life. You can save a lot of battery life by turning some of these things off. The second reason is privacy. Apple, we trust Apple mm -hmm. pretty much with our personal information and a lot of information when we turn off these settings doesn't ever leave your device anyway. It doesn't get sent to Apple, or if it does, it's personally encrypted. But the things that I don't trust are the third-party apps, especially the ones that are developed by smaller companies mm -hmm. that have access, for instance, to your location all the time. They can use your iPhone's location and your account information to figure out exactly where you are all the time. Yeah. So let's dive in and show Great. them how to turn off some of these settings. Great, so open the settings app and scroll down and tap privacy. We're gonna start at location services. We just did a really in-depth video about location services. I'll link that in the card above and the description section below. We'll do an overview here. So I'll tap location services right off the bat. Don't turn off this master switch at the top. We like location services. GPS lets your iPhone know where it is in the world. It's a great feature. Without this, your iPhone isn't as great as it can be. So yep. definitely leave it on. Yep, so here you'll see a list of your apps that have access to your location and it has while using, never ask. Uh, if you see always, just you know, make sure that you want that app to always have location, access on. to your location. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, always is the dangerous one. So SefQ is David's bank. Let's tap on that. Now David's bank, he's probably logged in with the SefQ app and right now it has access to his location all the time, which means that information about where David is could be sent to his bank all the time. Doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm actually going to tap never, they don't need access to my location. Right. Mm -hmm. So just look through this list of apps, check the ones, make sure that they are tracking your location and if, when, if they do, how often and if you're using the app or all the time. Yeah. 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 yeah, great. System services. Right. Next up is system services. Tap on that. Yeah. Our other video, we talk a lot about what each of these actually do. Mm -hmm. In this case, we're just going to tell you which ones to uh, turn off. Right. So Apple Pay Merchant, turn it off. Cell Network Search, you can turn that off. You're still going to work. A compass calibration only if you use the compass on your phone. I, I don't. Turn it off. Emergency calls and SOS, leave it on. Right. Find my iPhone, yep. leave it on. Home kit, do you want the switches to turn off when you leave? Turn it off. Yep, location-based alerts, Apple ad suggestions, turn them all off. Yeah, location-based alerts isn't the same thing as those Amber alerts or weather alerts that you receive on your iPhone. This is a different thing, so don't mm -hmm. worry about that. Right, motion calibration and distance. If you are using a biking app, running app to yeah. track where you're going, leave it on. Yeah, if not, going on. turn it off. Setting time zone, if you're not a jet setter, turn it off, it'll save your battery life. Share my location, if you use it, leave it on. System customization, turn it off. Wi-Fi networking, off. It'll yep. still work. Turned off a lot of switches there. We did, and then scroll all the way to the bottom. All these analytics, product improvement. Get Don't rid of that. that. Get rid of that. Yeah, this is all about helping Apple. Most of these are about helping Apple build a database, whether it's anonymous or not. I don't want to use my iPhone battery to be sending them information about like where I am, where Wi-Fi networks are, what the traffic is, et cetera, et cetera. Yep, next thing to do here is tap on significant locations. Uh, I actually just cleared this history out. I had it on for a while. Mm -hmm. um, again, this is a bigger battery drain. I'm less concerned about the privacy here, more concerned about the battery. Right, people have given us some feedback about like, hey, what are you so worried about? It's battery, it's not privacy, we right. trust Apple. We know that this information isn't being sent. But I don't need a list of all my places that I've been recently. It's no. weird too. So right. I'm just going to turn that switch off, turn off significant locations. All right. So that's the location services yeah. piece of this. And as we said, if you want more information, check out our other video. We go way more in depth than we just did there. Right. Right. So I'll go back and back and back one more time into privacy. We're back on the main page of the privacy. Perfect. So we got context, calendars, reminders, photos. Whenever you open an app for the first time, a lot of the time you'll see, do you want to allow this app to use the camera? And you say, okay, or not now. Right. And this is the place where all those settings end up. So let's start with photos, even though Great. it's kind of in the middle of the list. So whenever you tap allow, then these are the apps that you've tapped allow for. And you can like yeah, for I mean, Twitter, for instance. Yeah, if you want to upload a photo to Twitter, yeah, upload a photo to Instagram. It's kind of the whole point of Instagram. Yep. They're going to need access to your photos, right? Uh, but if you see some apps here that you know, third-party apps, smaller companies, yeah, may want to turn it off, right? Because theoretically, a nefarious company could, because they have all the access to your photos, send all your photos to them using the app without your knowledge, because third-party apps do have access because you gave them access when you said right. allow. Yeah. So Facer is an app I don't really even use. I'm just going to switch that to never, Yep, just to be safe. And if you're concerned about this, you can always turn it back on. Mm -hmm. These are things you can always come back yep. and turn back on. Another important thing here to check is camera. Yep. Same deal. Instagram. If you want to take pictures, upload them to Instagram. Mm -hmm. SefQ is interesting. Needs the camera to 
mobile check deposit. Right. There it is, yep. Mm -hmm. But so that's good to have on a notable slack. Those are all good. Yep. But turn it off for yeah, once. What you don't. really need to be wary of here is just third party apps, small companies, you know, not necessarily the reputable ones like the big social media companies. So contacts, calendars, reminders, it's all the same. Yep. Go through this list and for each one, just make sure that you want to give these acts. It's right. about being intentional right. with your settings and not just hitting yes to everything. And then all of a sudden you're wondering why something bad happened eventually. Yeah. Like for Instagram, they ask, can we have your contacts? We can help you find followers right off the bat. And I right. said, no. So spam all your friends. Yeah. Spam all your Do friends. Do you want to be on Instagram? Yeah. No, thanks. Yeah. My so, bank wanted all my contacts. Bank of America. I was like, nope. Next, we'll scroll down here to analytics and improvements. I've got all these analytics things on and drains the battery. Right. I mean, you can have some privacy issues because third party apps like share with app developers, it's going to send information about where you are, how you use your phone. So, I mean, this is you working for Apple yeah. and they don't pay me for my <laughs> analytics. So unless they want to start. If they start, yeah. I mean, if they send me a payment, I, leave I mean, it obviously it's providing some value for them. Right. I'm the one who's paying for the power and the cellular data that this is using. I'm turning this off. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off too. Just tap all the switches. Yeah. Turn it off. I turn off the share iPhone and watch analytics, go rid of half of them yep. and turn off share iCloud analytics. Nice right. and easy. Right. If Apple really wants them so bad, they can write me a note. Yep. So, so I'll go back. Yep. And the last thing here is advertising. You're going to want to turn on limit ad tracking. Turn it on and turn it off. Yep. Opt out of receiving ads targeted to, to your interests. You may still receive the same number of ads, but the ads may be less relevant to you. I don't care if it's anonymous or not. They're getting information about this phone and what you look at, yeah. which in some cases can be linked yeah. to you. And if you're worried about that, just tap reset advertising identifier, reset identifier. Right. That's all set. On. And then I'm going to turn on limit ad tracking. All set. All set. Those are some iPhone privacy settings to turn off. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPhone videos.